I'm a lab technician at the Doña Ana Community College. I make media for the labs and I also set up labs for the students and I construct procedures for them to go and follow. So they get the easy laboratory lifestyle, unlike an actual university at NMSU, where most of the things are not handed to you. Most of the things that we set up are directly handed to them so they don't get confused. It's a half and half situation because we also have nurses there. I enjoy it, I love the, um, the community college. What are you experimenting on and how do you do it? Okay, so right now I am um, getting plates of TSA, which are nutrient plates that contain just the many supplements that bacteria cells grow on when testing. And what I'm doing is I'm going to get different types of bacteria from around the lab or the community college and test which one grows the most bacteria. So it's kind of an environmental health safety workshop for the students. What are the things that you've experimented on? So right now I got a couple of swabs. I put the swab in sterile water and then I go and I get a sample of bacteria from the incubator and the lab phone and the benches in the community college or the keyboards and the computers within the lab. So those are a few of examples that we have. Have you done this in the past? and what have you seen that has had the most bacteria? Uh, yes, we have. We've done uh, from previous labs, nails to under the shoe and telephones and even the toilet seat. But as far as the most increase in bacteria growth, it'd have to be the telephone. Oh, wow. So it wasn't the toilet seat? No, it wasn't. The toilet seat actually had minimal.